Welcome to the Grizzly Digital Network. We're joined now today by head men's dual women's tennis coach, Chase Hodge. Coach, how are we doing? Doing great. Doing great, Matt. Thanks for having me. Describe what last year meant to the program. Just competing alone was a victory, right? Definitely, Matt. Uh, you know, the men finished with 11-1 record, the ladies 5-3 and three on the season. Uh, you know, it kind of set the groundwork for this season. Uh, you know, not being able to compete in the postseason last year uh, was just an, an opportunity for us to get our feet wet with the men and women's programs. And now we're just really excited about preparing for May and the NAI, NAI National Tournament. So that's our uh, biggest excitement. How different will the women's program look last year compared to this year? Much different. Uh, our women's program has improved uh, dramatically since last season. Uh, we've added a strong recruiting class in the fall, and uh, we're definitely looking to add a couple more ladies in in January. So uh, I really feel that the women's program has made a vast improvement and really looking forward to seeing the ladies compete in the spring, and uh, we're looking for big things. You mentioned the men's team went 11-1 and last year, a couple right. of guys undefeated in their mm -hmm. slate. Was sure. the bar set too high? No. I mean, uh, you always want to set it high, you know. So I think it's one of those situations, Matt, where, uh, you know, we expect to, to win and we expect to uh, get positive results. So, uh, you know, the men's team did a great job last year with an 11-1 record, and uh, we look to even surpass that this season. And, uh, you know, it all comes down to that national tournament in May, and we want to peak for that, both programs. So, you know, really looking forward to that. Here's a list of the schools that you beat last weekend at UGA. East Tennessee State, mm. Portland, mm. Murray State, mm. Tennessee, Clemson. Put it yeah. in perspective for me. Well, those are, I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things where when we walk out on the court, you know, we try not to play the name on the jersey. And, uh, you know, beating all those uh, high-level uh, Division I programs, I think, shows the guys that we can compete with anybody. And, uh, you know, it gives us that confidence that, uh, when we do step into our matches, regardless of who we play, uh, we feel uh, comfortable that we can play with anybody and beat anybody. So, uh, you know, that's one good thing I think that uh, we've done a, a, a solid job of doing is kind of establishing that culture that, you know, we can play with anybody and it's just a matter of going out there and getting the results. Bruno is a phenomenal player and, you know, he's had a lot of success. He's got a lot of experience and, uh, you know, his results were pretty much what we expected. Uh, we expect him to do even more things in the future. Uh, Eric, you know, he was undefeated for us last year, number one single, so we kind of expect that as well. And then Tony and Evgeny, uh, really good doubles pair. They, they play well together and, you know, they beat Clemson and that was a solid victory for them. It's evident your teams, your programs are very talented. What are practices like? Very competitive. Uh, you know, we got a lot of high level players and uh, everybody uh, wants to get victories. So, you know, it's one of those things where you, when you put yourself in a competitive arena, a competitive atmosphere with other high level athletes, uh, you have an opportunity to really improve uh, because you're playing against solid competition day in and day out. So I think they really appreciate that aspect of it, being able to compete with one another. And, uh, you know, it's been a win win for everybody involved. We'll get to see the women compete for the first time in New Orleans on September 27th. What's a short-term goal for them? Uh, the women's program, uh, you know, this fall is, you know, we want to be able to, to go down to New Orleans and ultimately the goal is to, to have someone win that regional so they can compete in the national event in Florida. Uh, you know, looking at that event, that's the goal is to have someone come out of that regional. Um, you know, the, the ladies really just looking to get a lot of experience so that when we head into the spring season, uh, they're feeling really confident and, and moving forward. You look around, beautiful facilities, great resources, talented players. What's coach's role in all this? I got the easiest job in the world. You know, I, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, work extremely hard in recruiting these high-level athletes to GGC. And uh, once they're here, uh, Lauren Meyer, who's done a phenomenal job with the women's program, um, really developing the athletes. Um, you know, we basically get them here and, and do whatever we can to develop them uh, in the weight room with the conditioning on the court, all those things so that we can kind of bring it all together and, and make them win tennis matches. Historic season coming up here for the first time the Grizzlies on any field court uh, mm -hmm. will be eligible for a national championship. What are the expectations in Coach Hodge's eyes? That's the expectation, uh, you know, and it's a, it's a lofty goal, but, uh, you know, our goal is to win the, the, the national championship on both sides. And, um, you know, it's not to say if we don't, it's a, it's a major disappointment. Uh, but with that being said, you, you need to set your priorities and your goals high because, uh, you know, I don't want to sell these kids short. You know, I, I do feel like we have the talent level to accomplish something great. Uh, so it's just a matter of us going out there and doing it. You know, I don't really uh, worry about any of the other programs and what they're doing. All I can control is our team. And I know that if we play to our potential, that's definitely a realistic goal. 
Can these student athletes understand that? Can they comprehend it, know what it takes to win a national championship? Uh, we, we have some that do. Uh, Bruno Taberti, for example, has already won one at his previous institution. So uh, bringing him in here is, is huge because he has that experience in, in terms of having won one and can kind of uh, use his uh, experience to, to bring it to the other guys and explain to them what that's like. Uh, we have some uh, females on the program, Paloma Cortina, she's a senior here at GGC. Uh, she's transferred from another institution. I think she's looking to have a great senior year and wants to finish it on a, on a winning note. So uh, we do have some experience on our roster so that that's something we could accomplish. I know it's just a fall coach, but we look forward to keeping up with your program. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having me, Matt. You can keep up with men's and women's tennis this fall as they travel to New Orleans, Louisiana for the ITA Regionals in hopes to make the Nationals in Fort Myers, Florida. Keep up with the action right here on our website at grizzlyathletics.com. This is the Grizzly Digital Network.